Ms. Green, you've had your disagreements with Speaker Pelosi. Isn't that right? I'm not sure what you mean. You've had political disagreements with her. You don't agree with some of the things she's done in her career, right? Politically speaking, that would be correct. Right. You don't agree with a lot of things she's done, right? Politically speaking, that would be correct. In fact, you think that Speaker Pelosi is a traitor to the country, right? Uh, you're, I'm not answering that question. It's speculation. And it's you, you've, you've said that, haven't you, Ms. Green, that she's a traitor to the country? No, I haven't said that. Okay. Put up Plaintiff's Exhibit 5, please. Oh, no, wait. Hold on now. I believe by not upholding the uh, sec securing the border that that violates her oath of office. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not interested in her oath of office. I'm interested in that you said that she's a traitor to our country, right? I, I object, Your Honor. She is not. This is, I don't see the relevance of that, Mr. Shelley. Next. Your, Your Honor, can, can we give Mr. Bop a standing objection on the First Amendment grounds? No. Because this is, this, is a, this is an effort to interrupt my examination of the witness. I am attempting to establish the, the, the witness's desire to engage in insurrection during the period January 3rd to January 6th. Now, it's true that some of the things that she said are relevant if they were, even though they occurred before January 3rd. But there's no First Amendment objection to evidence, Your Honor. She's, she said what she said. There is First Amendment objection. We don't agree. Well, we, I, 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 but I get to make my objection. You can make the objection. You can have a standing objection. To I don't want a standing objection. Because he I wants to interrupt my flow, Your Honor. That's, that's not appropriate. I don't object to everything. Okay. 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 I have specific things that I think uh, I object to, and I, and I should be extended the courtesy to do that. You may, you may object. Thank you. Uh, Plants Exhibit 5, please. Well, 5 now. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm placing before you um, what we pre-marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 5, which is an article that appeared in CNN on January 26, uh, 2021. You have a hard copy of this available? Uh, should be in the book. I mean, does she have a hard copy? I mean, she can't read it off the screen. Um, we, we have one for her. Okay. Let's, let's, let's start using hard copies. This, okay. You can't read stuff like this. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes, sir. You may. You have standing permission to approach the witness to deliver copies of documents of the estimates you're going to ask your question. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Wells, if you could scroll down a bit. Ms. Green, I want to um, direct your attention to the bottom of <coughs> the fourth page of the exhibit. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a paragraph that starts out, she's a traitor to our country. Do you see that? I object, Your Honor. What possible relevance could it be that they, she had political disagreements that resulted in hyperbole that is commonly uh, used? Your Honor, this is an argument. Over, over. Next. Thank you. Um, I just want to ask a narrow question, Representative Green. Um, did you say, referring to Speaker Pelosi, she's a traitor to our country, she's guilty of treason, she took an oath to protect the American citizens, she gives aid and comfort to our enemies who illegally invade our land, that's what treason is, and our law representatives and senators can be kicked out and no longer serve in our government. And it's uh, a crime punishable by death, is what treason is. Nancy Pelosi is guilty of treason. Did you say those words? I said, this is what I was telling you, is I, she doesn't uphold our laws. Uh, it's a simple yes or no question, ma'am. Did you say those words? Without being instructed by him 
to say yes or no? I don't agree, Your Honor. This is cross-examination. She's so entitled to an answer to my question, not a speech. Did you say these words that are quoted on the bottom of it? Did you say that? According to the CNN article I did, I don't remember. Do you recall saying? I don't recall saying all of this, but I do I do recall having said this about the I totally disagree with the border issues. Okay. And, and Ask I believe, an answer. Next question. 